Hey guys, this is shop update number four. And, uh, wow, this camera's gross. This is shop update number four. Much better. Shop update number four. And it's really, I haven't, I haven't really done anything additional. I just pulled my 99 Blazer in the shop and I wanted to give you guys just a little perspective on the size. This is not a big shop. It is in total about 1,200 square feet. So I've got right at 500 on one side and a little bit more than that on the other side. So this side that you're in right now, um, watching me film, is my studio. This is the side where I personally will work and I will shoot videos and we'll do the lives and all the things. Lots of things coming up. But I wanted to just show you so if I'm standing at the front door, I'll turn you around now. Standing at the front door, when you come in the door, this is where all the cabinets are. So I have to get those hung and all of that. But I got my whole blazer inside this place with plenty of room to get around it. This is obviously a midsize SUV. Uh, anything bigger than this, in fact, I believe wholeheartedly because I got this in there, that I'll be able to get full-size trucks that are not lifted in here with no problem. Uh, if you'll notice that the ceiling is only eight foot tall, so I won't be able to get any lifted trucks. I recently did an 04 Hummer H2 SUT, I believe is what it was, but I had to do it right outside here in the front. Um, I did put that mailbox up there. I got a sign and some decals I'm putting on the mailbox uh, for a drop box. I will be putting a hole behind it where you can drop keys off and that kind of thing. Because I'm only working by appointment only in this shop. So uh, the other two bays, I have a vehicle in there now. But look, just look how much room I have in the front and on the sides. Lots of room in here lots and lots of room to do everything I need to do. I got about four foot back there, can get all the way around it. I've got plenty of room back here. And to be realistic, I probably could have angled it more and ended up with a lot more room over here. I can even shut that door. So that's pretty cool. So, Anyway, as you walk through, this is where the Murano is right now. And uh, you may or may not have seen that. I've got the brake calipers painted and I got some of the trim taped up. But I got to put up lights on this side and all that. But I just wanted to show you there's plenty of room in here to do everything I want to do. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have room for boats in here. Uh, I will probably make this my offices at some point and then get another location for boats, RVs, and lifted trucks and that kind of thing. But for now, this is gonna be great because I have all this outside space and all this space on the side. So come summer, when I'm spring and summer where I'm cranking on boats, I got plenty of room here to work on a boat. I can park, park a big boat right in the front here. So pretty excited about all that. But that's what this bit video is about, is just uh, giving you perspective on what fits. And for me, if that blazer fits with all this room around it, I'm really not worried about anything else. I mean, again, I've got a 2022 20, Nissan Murano in this side, and I've got ample room in the front. I mean, this is probably four, four and a half foot. Plenty of room on the side there. I'm still not quite in the center here because the center would be basically right in the center of that outlet there. So I've got two feet on this side here and on the other side of the back, there's plenty of room in here, two feet. I am gonna add one more light. I went ahead, I mentioned in the last video uh, that I bought a 10 pack of those which the other five are right here, and those are gonna go up here. But I said, you know what? I really feel like I need another one back here because while I was working back here and I'm taping up these emblems and doing all this stuff back here, as this is happening, 
I feel like I need more light. So I'm gonna put one more up here. So that'll put a total of six there. So I'll put six there as well. That'll be 12. And um, I have 20 total. So I'm gonna put probably one in the center here. Well, two in the center there, six over there, one here. So you got six, seven, eight, nine. Um, and I have 15. So that leaves six more. Oh, and I bought the the same lights, a 10 pack. I mentioned that already in the last video too. I bought the same lights, but in the four foot sections. So my studio is going to be hella lit too. Hella lit. Who says that? All the kids, all the children. But anyway, so that was just giving you some perspective on size. I'm very happy with the size of this place. I only need to be able to work in here with one vehicle at, the, at a time. Um, something cool that I did buy that is an addition to this place, well, to the shop. I bought the uh, another, well, I had one before. This is the Harbor Freight uh, two-ton uh, engine hoist. There's one box there, there's another box in here somewhere, but uh, the cool part about that is I'm going to be able to lift skis off their trailers, jet skis, sea dews, wave runners, all those things off the trailer so I can use the infinity liner on the, the bellies. So that's it guys. Thanks for tuning in on update number four. And uh, again, this is just perspective on what can fit in the shop and why. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. That, that's a place where you can learn about all the things that I'm doing to the shop and what's happening and why and the progress and all of that if you don't want to just follow it here on YouTube. So thanks, guys, for watching. Have a wonderful day.